Well, federal judge Lewis Kaplan reached the point of exasperation with Donald Trump's lawyer today when the lawyer was trying to ask a question that any real trial lawyer knows how to ask. That, and it, it got to the point where the judge said to Trump attorney Alina Haba, it's evidence 101. Alina Haba maintained her frontrunner status as most incompetent Trump trial lawyer to appear in court so far again today in the case of E. Jean Carroll versus Donald Trump. Because it is a civil case in which E. Jean Carroll is seeking massive financial damages from Donald Trump, there are a lot of financial questions to ask by the lawyers on both sides. Donald Trump's lawyers have a right to ask E. Jean Carroll about her income and her finances, but Alina Haba did not know how to do it. Question, you generate a good amount of income from that, correct? The judge, look, questions like this, what's a good amount of income? Look, it's evidence 101. Question, Ms. Carroll, how much do you make? Ms. Kaplan, objection, Your Honor, that has been asked and answered. The answer that E. Jean Carroll gave to that question yesterday was $70,000. Trump attorney Haba continued with this question. How many subscribers do you have on your Substack? The judge. That was definitely answered yesterday. Ms. Haba, subscriber amount? The judge. Yes, 1,800. Let's move on. When the ineffectual cross-examination of E. Jean Carroll was complete, an expert witness testifying on behalf of E. Jean Carroll told the jury that it would take $10 million to begin to try to repair the damage to her reputation that she has suffered by Donald Trump falsely calling her a liar. Donald Trump was not in court today, so the proceedings were more orderly. Instead of attending the trial, Donald Trump attended the funeral of his third mother-in-law in Florida. The funeral for Donald Trump's second mother-in-law was in Dalton, Georgia in 2014. We could find no information indicating Donald Trump attended that one. The funeral for Donald Trump's first mother-in-law, Marie Zelnikova, has been lost to history or at least eluded our search of possible sources of information about that one. And so we don't know if today was the first funeral of a Donald Trump mother-in-law that Donald Trump attended. The Trump lawyers repeatedly, very much to Judge Kaplan's irritation, tried to get today's court session canceled because of the funeral of Donald Trump's third mother-in-law even though Donald Trump had no role to play in the courtroom today at all, and his attendance is not required in a civil lawsuit. Donald Trump never spent one day in court in the first successful E. Jean Carroll lawsuit against Donald Trump, in which a jury awarded her $5 million because the jury unanimously believed E. Jean Carroll's description of Donald Trump raping her in a New York City department store dressing room. The current trial will resume on Monday. Today, Attorney General Merrick Garland made it clear that the Justice Department practice, referred to as the 60-day rule, will not in any way inhibit the trial schedule in the two federal prosecutions of Donald Trump. The 60-day rule generally restricts federal investigative activity involving politicians for the 60 days prior to an election. Is there a date in your mind where it might be too late to bring these trials to fruition? Uh, again, to stay out of, out of the way of the elections and, uh, as the department policies well, I'd, require? I'd say you know, what I said, which is that the cases were brought last year. The prosecutor has urged speedy trials, uh, uh, with which I agree. Um, and this is now in the hands of the judicial system, not in our hands. Donald Trump's claim that he and any president of the United States has total immunity from criminal prosecution for anything done while president is currently being considered by the Federal Circuit Court of Appeals in Washington, D.C. Donald Trump's lawyers have appealed a ruling denying that novel notion of presidential immunity, a ruling written by trial judge Tanya Chutkin, who is presiding over the case of United States of America versus Donald J. Trump, in which Donald Trump is indicted for crimes leading up to and on January 6th. The appeals court could issue a decision any time now, and it was very clear during the oral arguments of that case to the appeals court that the three-judge panel does not agree 
with Donald Trump's lawyers that a president can only be criminally prosecuted after being convicted in a Senate impeachment trial and removed from office. The Trump lawyers will surely appeal the appeals court's likely denial of Donald Trump's immunity claim to the United States Supreme Court. And today, Donald Trump got a head start on his lawyers in appealing directly to the United States Supreme Court on social media, where he said, a president of the United States must have full immunity, without which it would be impossible for him, her, to properly function. Any mistake, even if well intended, would be met with almost certain indictment by the opposing party at term end. Donald Trump did not explain why no president has ever been prosecuted at the end of his term. The Trump statement continued saying, even events that cross the line must fall under total immunity. Of course, if presidents had total immunity or thought they had total immunity, certainly the Supreme Court would have already thought they had total immunity and Donald Trump would not have to take an appeal all the way to the United States Supreme Court, asking the court to invent the concept of total immunity for presidents. Donald Trump ended his statement saying, all presidents must have complete and total presidential immunity, or the authority and decisiveness of a president of the United States will be stripped and gone forever. Hopefully, this will be an easy decision. God bless the Supreme Court exclamation point. Donald Trump has blessed that same Supreme Court through the presidential appointment power with three Supreme Court justices who he no doubt expects to invent the new concept of presidential immunity just for him.